Okay, hi guys, my name is Steph and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a vinyasa style flow. So we're gonna be generating heat, blood flow, movement in the body. Um, this actually just helps to energize the system. It gets you mentally focused, it gets you in tune with your body. And we're gonna be targeting the outer hips, moving through the active range of motion. So it's gonna be kind of fun um, exploring different movements in a different way. It'll help you gain more proprioception, so awareness where your body is, and feel like you have a little bit more control and strength through those areas to help with stability. So we'll also do a little bit of lat opening um, in there as well, because it's feels nice always and if you have a block go ahead and grab one you may or may not use it for the class so if you don't have one don't worry about it too much and that's it I'll see you guys shortly on the mat so let's begin on our backs so just bring the feet the soles of the feet together in Supta Baddha Konasana knees wide and you can have the hands anywhere that feels comfortable. So overhead, if you like that opening across the chest, one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart is another option. If you wanna feel a little bit more contained, grounded, or you can have the arms down by the sides. And just try on whichever posture feels best for you today. If you're feeling a little bit of compression in the low back, just lift the hips, lengthen the tailbone, and then reset back down. And just gently scan maybe what areas are a little bit tight in the body. And see if you can soften those areas about two to five percent more. And just notice what you came into onto the mat, which in your mind, so how are you feeling? What did you experience maybe in the last week or day? How is your mental state? Just knowing for the duration that we're on the mat, that we're going to focus on becoming into the present moment. So this just means coming into exactly what you're experiencing now. And when thoughts try to bring you into situations, past, future expectations, remind yourself to come back to the breath to help to calm, settle the mind and the nervous system. And the focus of this class is going to be bright eyes for the future. So knowing that when you maybe started this journey into either yoga or healing practice, whatever it may be that, to look at how far you've come. And using this as a benchmark to know that the future is still bright and there's still so much growth that you will experience with all the wisdom that you've learned thus far. And then we'll start to shift into our breath. So we're gonna take the thumb to the right nostril, breathing only out of the left nostril. So inhale, exhale. And just take two more breaths, breathe in. Exhale, breathe in. And exhale. And then blocking the left with maybe the middle or the fourth finger, breathe in through the right. And exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Last one, breathe in. Full exhale. And release the right hand down and then breathe evenly through both nostrils. So you might have noticed which nostril is a bit more clear, which pathway is a bit more clear than the other. And then we'll shift the breath down into the belly. So smooth inhale down into the deep diaphragm, feel the belly expand, and then expand into the ribs, and then trail and trace the breath out the ribs, the belly, the nose. One more breath, breathe in. 
full expansion and exhale to soften out. Then bringing about a three inch gap in between the feet, so still in Stupta Baddha Konasana, and we're going to start to draw the thighs in towards one another. So gently tuck the tail so you can feel a little bit more engagement around the inner and outer thighs, slowly bringing the soles of the feet down to the ground. Release the thighs back open into the Stupta Baddha Konasana, controlled movement, and then thighs back together. Make any adjustments that you need to, so you might have to walk the feet in a little bit closer to you. We're going to press into the feet, lift the hips, lengthen the tailbone, squeeze the glutes. And then slowly pivoting to the outside knife edge of the feet, hips wide, and then drawing them back together, soles of the feet onto the ground. So controlling through the outer hips and then pressing into the big toe mound when the soles of the feet are onto the ground. So we're going to move a little bit quicker. We're going to do 10 of these. So 10 nine hips are lifted tailbone is long seven six five four three two and one stay lifted breathe in bringing the arms overhead grabbing hold of the right fingertips extend the right arm overhead keeping the low ribs tucked in Bringing the arms back, switching sides, grabbing hold of the left fingertips, extend the left arm overhead. Releasing the arms down by the side and then lower one vertebrae at a time. Drawing the knees in towards the chest, just take a little bit of a rock and roll side to side for the low back and then extending the feet skywards. So active toes, active feet, engaging through the quads, and the low back is making contact with the ground the whole time. We'll interlace the fingers behind the head, elbows wide, breathe in. Exhale, navel draws into the spine, lift the shoulders, lift the chest, breathe in, release. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. And let's do five more, so five, four, three, two, one. Keep the legs lifted. We're going to add on, breathe in. Exhale to lift, this time lower the left leg one third of the way, twist to the right. Active legs, active feet, breathe in, center, release. Exhale, lift, twist, left. Center, release, one more each side. Exhale, lift, twist, right. Center, release, twist, left and center release knees into the chest cross the ankles roll the length of the spine a few times until we are up in to a seated position so we're going to take the right ankle and cross it over the top of the knee into our figure four so keeping the right toes into that flexion so that the knee isn't twisting too much and we're just going to rock from side to side so opening up through the hip joint. And you don't need to push yourself super close to the leg, just moderate how far back you are depending on what's going on in the thighs. So we're in external rotation of the right femur right now. And then switch sides. Left ankle crosses over. And then gently just starting to rock side to side. And then release the left ankle. We're going to have the feet extended out in front of us. I'm going to face you so that you can see me. And we're going to have just about this wider than hips stance. And we're going to pivot. I'm not going to mirror you, so just listen um, to my cueing. We're going to pivot over on to the left side. Okay? And then we're going to rock to the right. So it's kind of like a windshield wiper, but we're keeping the feet flexed. Let's do this just a couple more times. and then roll over all the way on to the left side. So we're gonna add on a bit of a sequence here. So we're going to take, we're gonna keep driving this left knee downwards. So we're kind of engaging 
and you can feel that up into the femur bone. Take the right hand and we're gonna extend the right arm overhead, breathe in and exhale, cactus arm pulling back, okay? Switching sides, left arm reaches behind you, really pressing that outer right knee downward into the ground. Exhale, cactus, breathe in and exhale to switch. This time we're gonna add on, so right arm breathe in, exhale, Inhale, reach forward, this time releasing the right hand down. And then we're gonna unplug the right leg off of the ground. We're gonna externally rotate the leg and we're just gonna tap the right toes into the front of the shin. So the knees facing forward towards the sky now. And then bring it back down, release and switch sides. So left arm reaches, breathe in into the lats. Exhale, shoulder back, breathe in. Release the left hand, unplug the left leg, externally rotate and tap. Bring it back, switching sides. So you can use the core to help you breathe in. Right arm extends, exhale cactus, inhale reach, release the right hand, unplug the right leg, active, externally rotate and tap. Moving controlled, no rush, no hurry, release it back down and we'll switch sides. Left arm reaches, cactus, reach, release, left leg unplugs, external rotation, tap the foot, bring it back, and then moving through center, we'll just do a windshield wiper motion. Crossing at the ankles, rolling onto all fours, onto the hands and knees. We'll move into the modified plank position, stacking the knees, the hips, and the shoulders in one long line. Slowly lower for the count of three, two, one. Inhale into the cobra, and exhale to release. Taking the right arm into the cactus, left knee, left heel draws in towards the glute, and we'll roll over on to the right pec. Very gentle opening, breathe in. You can even do a little bit of pulse and then rolling back through center. Left arm into the cactus, right fingertips high, rolling over onto the left side, open up through the chest. Nice, breathe into the left pec and coming back through center. Bringing the hands to the low ribs, tuck the toes, pressing firmly into the ground to bring you up to the modified plank. Navel into the spine to help bring you back to the downward facing dog. Just pause for a moment in stillness and then we can bend the right knee and then the left knee. Switching back and forward and then back into stillness. Pressing firmly into the hands, lower ribs tuck in and pressing the floor away from you so even weight distribution in the hands and the feet. Breathe in to lift the heels high. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward in between the hands. Step both legs to the top of the mat. Shift a little bit forward onto the toes. Inhale, hands to shins as you lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Anchor down into the feet, a little micro bend in the knees as you raise, arms sweep overhead. And then exhale to hinge, leading with the chest, touch down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, shift a little forward. Plant the hands, step back, high plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog, even length through the spine. Exhale, send it back, downward facing dog. Lift the heels, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Rise and fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands high plank pose. Strong controlled Chaturanga Dandasana. Hover upward or cobra. Exhale, send it back to the downward dog. Breathe in, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop, step, or jump. Halfway lift, breathe in, and fold. Rise to standing. Exhale, fold. 
Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant the hands, step the right leg to the back of the mat. Release the right knee down. Inhale, raise the arms into the Anjane Asana. And then we're gonna exhale, shift the hips back, fingertips on either side of the leg, chest forward. Shifting forward, Anjane Asana, and we'll shift through this a few times, half Hanuman, flexing the toes towards your face. Shift forward, and exhale. Let's do it three more times. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Half Hanuman pose. Unplug the right knee, step forward. And we'll switch sides. Left knee releases back. Release the left knee down. Inhale into Anjane Asana. Exhale, shift it back. Breathe in, shift forward. Exhale. Three more times. Breathe in and exhale. You can even choose not to use the hands onto the ground if you'd like. Last one, Anjane Asana. This time we're gonna release the hands to frame the right foot. We're just gonna step the right foot back. Taking the left foot, we're gonna bring, bring, uh, bring it behind the glute and moving into kind of this side plank pose. So it doesn't matter where you put the hand. And then we're going to lift the right leg off the ground. And we'll swing it just forward and back right now just to kind of get awareness where the foot is in space and then pausing it around center. We're gonna do 10 pulses skywards for 10, controlled, nine, lower ribs in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bending the right knee, releasing the right knee to the left, and you're going to kind of go into that mermaid pose, sitting onto the left side of the glute. And then we're gonna lift up all together, lifting the right thigh as well, keeping it bent. Lower it down. We're gonna do four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Switching sides, so the right foot pivots behind the glute. Side plank pose, lifting the left leg from the outer left hip. And just swing it forward and back a few times. And then 10 pulses skywards for 10. Nine. Eight, you should feel it on this side now. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bend the left knee, release into kind of that mermaid seating pose, and then we'll do five. So lifting everything all together for five, four, three, two, and one. Release into the modified plank. We'll tuck the toes and send the hips back to the downward facing dog. Breathe and lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise to standing, breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we'll step the left foot into the midline of our mat, bending the right knee in towards the chest, crossing the right ankle over the left thigh, and seating, sitting back into the figure four pose. So just squat down as low as feels like you have a good active stretch, really plugging the right femur bone into the hip socket, right foot is flexed. Draw into your core, and what we're gonna do so we're gonna straighten the left leg into standing, but we're gonna keep the right leg exactly as it is so that it'll be in a hover when we're standing. So listen carefully. So engaging through the entire right leg, lift, the, the ankle might drop a little bit. And then we're gonna take the right ankle and we're gonna move into internal rotation so it's out to the side. Slowly start to hinge the chest forward into the warrior three pose and then if you have the block 
handy at the front of the mat, you might want to use it. And then we'll start to open up into the half moon pose. Okay. From here, we're going to reverse. So we're going to pivot into the warrior three, hips facing down. Bending the right knee, slowly lifting up to standing, and almost like you're hurtling over a fence. We're going to bring the right leg back, externally rotate, and sit into the figure four. Slowly lift up and release the right leg. Okay, good work. <laughs> Tricky. Switching sides, so we'll take the right foot to the midline, left knee in towards the chest, sitting back into the figure four, external rotation in the left leg, flexing the left foot. And then slowly starting to lift up, bring your mind into that outer left hip, internally rotate the leg, stepping over that imaginary gate to extend back into the warrior three pose, keep the chest lifted, stabilizing through the core, and then slowly opening up into the half moon pose. So just noticing if you fall out, come back into it. You've still made so much progress up into this point. It's an endless journey and there's still so much room for growth still. There always will be. And then reversing. So we'll move into the warrior three. Bending the left knee as you raise tall to standing. Stepping over that imaginary gate. Left ankle crosses over the right thigh to sit into the figure four. Lift up, knee to chest, and then release the left leg. Shake it out, all done with that. <laughs> Inhale, raise the arms high. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant the hands, step back high, plank pose. Controlled lower for the count of five, four, three, two. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And then exhale, send it back to the downward facing dog. Step the feet halfway up the mat and we're gonna release on to our bottoms. And we're gonna come into the same pose that we did at the beginning of class. So we're gonna have the windshield wiper to one side. So we'll just go to whatever side you want actually. I'm on the right side. And then bring the torso so it's kind of facing around over where the knee is. We're gonna take the hands to heart center. And then slowly starting to hinge over this right knee just about as low as you can maintain into control. And we'll just do a few baby pulses, keeping the chest lifted and keeping that right outer knee driving downwards. So we'll just do five, four, three, two, one. Release the hands down. And taking the left arm, we're going to bring it behind the back and then just drop the right ear to the right shoulder so you can release any engagement in the legs and we'll just do some circle motions with the chin so releasing through the trapezius muscles and everything else connected around that area which I guarantee you everybody carries tension in And then slowly lifting up just to switch sides. Left knee driving down, bringing the hands to heart center. And we'll start to hinge just about in the direction of that knee. So once you find kind of your happy limit, <laughs> um, start to pulse. Keeping the chest broad, we'll do five, four, three, two, one. Release the hands down. And then taking the right hand and enter, bring it behind the back so the shoulder can open up. And then we'll drop the left ear to the left shoulder. 
starting to kind of explore. And then releasing back up. We'll take the right ankle and we're gonna bring it in to the side of the glute. And just for a few breaths, we're gonna lean back as far as you go onto the elbows just to get a little stretch through the front of the thigh. So it doesn't need to be anything crazy or intense. Lifting back up, we'll do the other side quick. So bring the right ankle back, pivot to the other side, left ankle in towards the glute and lean, lean back. <laughs> Targeting the hip flexors. And then coming up through center, Pivot our way onto our back bodies, extending both legs out long. Right thigh is gonna be into the inner left thigh, so into a supine, so laying down tree pose. And taking a few minutes, arms can be wherever you'd like. And starting to move from that more active, vigilant state and shift into the down winding. So this is, can be a conscious thing that you can improve with time. So focus on softening, releasing the body. Taking the right knee into the chest and then bring it across to the left side into your supine twist. And bring the gaze if you'd like to the right side. Soften the belly. And then rolling back onto your back, extend the right leg out long, left foot in to the inner thigh into a supine tree. Shoulders become heavy and soften. Release the hinge of the jaw, the belly, the inner and outer left thigh. Left thigh into the chest as you move into the supine twist. Shoulder blades against the ground and gaze can come to the left. Rolling back onto your back so you can take a happy baby or just knees into the armpits. Rock side to side. Straightening one leg and the other if you'd like. Oops. And then knees into the chest. Squeeze in tightly. And we'll extend the legs out long. Nama stays. I mean Shavasana. Either works. Release control of the breath. Allow a wave of softening to flood through the entire body and mind. Allowing the front body to sink 
heavily into the back body, resting against the floor, the mat beneath you. whether life is in the middle of a storm or it's a soft and gentle breeze just taking and recognizing how far you've come from when you first started on this journey. Knowing that there's still more growth, there's choice, and there's opportunity and optimism that still lies ahead and the key is taking those mindful steps forward one step at a time And stay here as long as you need. Otherwise, bending at the knees, soles of the feet onto the ground, rolling over onto one side, taking a moment, one breath, pause, and then rolling yourself up into a gentle seated position. Sit bones heavy, grounded. And breathe in, arms out to the side, palms touch overhead. Soft exhale out the mouth, hands to heart center. You may find gratitude in how far you've come and have optimism for the future and the choices, decisions that you have ahead of you. Thank you guys so much for practicing today. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to give it a like. Comment in the comment section below anything you want. And I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.